What's up people, this is Sif Urian, and right now we're going to be checking out episode 17 of season 4 of Vikings. It's called The Great Army. Now first and foremost, I need to kind of clear up one or two things because I felt like I didn't really explain myself properly at the end of the last episode. Okay, first off, thank you to everyone who commented that that was Odin with a guy with a one eye. I'll be honest, as I was watching it, I did think it, but I just didn't say it. And it weren't until when I was editing, it kind of dawned on me like, yeah, that is Odin. But thank you to everyone who commented saying that that was Odin. There was a lot of you. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I spend so much time thinking deeper and looking at bigger things that I kind of overlook some of the smaller, you know, in your face type of stuff. Oh, and uh, another point. In the last video, I said that I felt like Ragnar's sons wasn't strong enough yet to go to war and lead an army and everything. And someone left a comment saying that um, I should do my research because Ragnar's sons become legends. They become more famous than Ragnar. And um, yeah, you, you are right. They do. Ultimately, they do become legends. They do become famous. They do become big, big characters. That's fine. But right now, right now, at this point in the story, they're nowhere near that. <laughs> they're nowhere near that. Like, the... <laughs> The only way I can really explain it is, look at Bjorn. Like, right now, Bjorn is a badass, total fucking badass. But when they made that transition from, from child to adult, he was still very green as grass. He was still very unexperienced. He had to um, stand at Ragnar's side and learn battle tactics. He, he, he had to be a good follower. And as far as I'm concerned, to be a good leader, you have to be a good follower. To be a good commander, you have to be a good troop. You know, Bjorn was loyal, dependable, um, trustworthy, everything. He was at his father's side no matter fucking what. And that will make Bjorn a great fucking leader. You know what I mean? But right now, the rest of Ragnar's sons, they're nowhere near that. Nowhere near that. They, 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 they haven't really experienced battles or wars. Yes, they, they can look after themselves. But actually being knee deep in battles and everyone coming from every which way? No. I think they would just get literally run over. You know what I mean? I think that they need more, more time to learn and, and train and, and go from being young men to men. If that makes any sense. You know, like... <laughs> Maybe they need to do the same thing Bjorn did. Maybe they all need to go off one at a time, go to a cabin in the middle of nowhere, hunt for fish, kill a fucking bear, and come back as a fucking man. If you see what I'm saying, right now I feel like they, they, they just can't do it. It's, it's another reason why I feel like there's going to be another big time jump at some point. It might happen at the end of this season, or it might happen at like around the start of next season, but I think we are going to get a, a time jump at some point. But yeah, just, I, I just felt like I just had to kind of clear that up quick. Because uh, it was bugging me as soon as I read the comment. It was like, I, I, I meant it like this, but whatever. Um, yeah, episode 17 is called The Great Army. I do know of something about a great army. Um, it was called The Heathen Army, was it? I'm sure I read somewhere it was The Heathen Army. Anyway, I think we might start seeing the start of that come in because apparently it was like this massive massive army but yeah we could just we're just gonna get into this episode not much of a recap so i feel like i've already wasted enough of your time we're gonna get into this episode episode 17 let's do this man okay so that that's the trenches and the walls that lagatha wants to build right or trump as some of you are calling her Fuck, man. <laughs> that is my life. No, it is not. Father gave me this knife. I want it. I will kill Lakitha with it. Well, he can't have it. That's enough. See, this is what I'm saying. They're like kids. They're still like kids. Tit for tat. How can they lead an army? Seriously. Come on, man. They still got a lot of growing up to do. What do you mean, Abu? I'm listening even if he's not. Ella has a small kingdom, but Ekberg's kingdom is vast. How do we overcome that when we have never took the fucking knife anything back. like that? Oh before? my god. We raise an army. 
No, you're not listening, brother. We raised a great army. An army bigger than ever before. Sigurd is right. We call in favors. We do deals with kings and us that we hate. Whatever we have to promise them, we promise it. And in the end, we assemble an army twice the size of the army our father took to Paris. And we declare war on England? No. In the name of our dead father, in the name of Ragnar Lothbrok, the greatest hero of our country, and in the name of Odin, we declare war on the whole world. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's her name? I think it is Tanarus. Very frightened, Helga. Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. I will love you. Wow. There is something kind of fucked up about that man. Who is this? I didn't know him either. Turns out his father is an earl. They call me Eagle the Bastard. Right. But you would like to be Earl. It's good that we have met Eagle. We need ambitious men. Wow, okay. New player, okay. We have different memories of mother. She doted on you and she ignored me. So you feel sorry for yourself? Poor little Sigurd. You're wrong, Ivor. I don't feel sorry for myself. Yeah, right. No, of course not. I'm telling you the truth. I have very good reason not to feel so angry with Legatha. Then what kind of a son are you? She was still your mother. <laughs> and you would say that, wouldn't you? What does that mean? What do you think it means? You tell me. All right, I will, Mommy's boy. Mommy's little favorite. Ooh. Are you just really sad she can breastfeed you anymore? Is that it? <clears throat> Whoever would have prompted you two are brothers. Wow. He actually went for him. <laughs> oh shit, over. I want to make you all an offer. Anyone from our homelands who wants good, rich lands to farm can come and live in my kingdom. I will always be a part of Frank here, which is a part of us. Us? You are no longer a part of us, Rolo. Well, what is us, Floki, is changing. Only you won't accept it. <laughs> And so I say the same to you. I think deep down he knows it. Deep down he knows that. <laughs> See, like, the opportunity's there now. You should have killed him when you had the chance. Why would you say that? Because I have a bad feeling that he will reach more fame than any of you. <laughs> but now, like, the, the opportunity is there for Vikings to go and settle and farm and, you know, that could be a possibility, man. And I'm not too sure if that actually happened in history. I'm sure that, I'm sure that they did. I'm sure of it. Gisela? Husband. You came back to us. Thank God. Truly. Thank God. Leave us. She's being all nice. What? As soon as everyone leaves, she's going to kick off. 
<laughs> I used to date someone used to, who used to do the exact same thing. <laughs> Fila putain. Nortman, bastard. Putérite, qu'on chiorlet te clame. Or te maudit. Talent est de te cire. Pour qu'est-ce qu'il m'en fait Putain, bastard, Nortman, foireux, connard Ouf. Putain, les chiens. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing because I've been there, man. Oh, shit. Acting all nice while there's people around, and as soon as they all leave, it's like, come here, you. We need to fucking talk. Shit. <laughs> Oh no, why do we have to come back here, man? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Just instantly, like, gut punch. Ah! Oh. You need to drink more wine. <laughs> I don't want any more, Grandfather. Nonsense, nonsense. You'll join me in one more. <laughs> now, you keep saying. You understand, but you obviously don't. I've just been drinking water while you were drinking the wine. Don't ever let yourself be influenced by other people. Oh shit. But I like it how um, Egbert is teaching Alfred. I like that, I like that. Because there's lessons that he needs to fucking learn, man. Oh. My friends, welcome to Katagat. And who might you be? My name is Uber. Forgive me, Uber. <laughs> if I'd known, I would never have been so rude. Your father was a great hero. Perhaps the greatest hero of our race? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the cripple? <laughs> His name is Ivor. And he's my brother. Oh, shit. So I would suggest you stop laughing at him right now. That would be my advice. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Begner and I were simple farmers. I had no idea of him as bad so far. Are you joking? It is almost tiresome to hear the poets talk of all your exploits. I'm sorry it was tiresome. Perhaps we should have done things in a more interesting way. No, no, no. That is the fault of the poets, not you. You had no right to free my slaves without my permission. I don't remember you asking permission to kill my mother. That's different. I'm queen now. I know. I just don't know for how long. Oh. Oh. Uber. I wanted to tell you, you look just like your father looked when he was a young man. When I first knew him. Ah, oh, what's the plan? Be nice, gain her trust, and then, <laughs> then kill her. <laughs> oh shit. Or do shit now, right? <laughs> or is that some of the people who's come to join them? Something's happening. What? Well, I think this is to do with Uber and Ivor, I bet you. <laughs> or maybe not. Marketer! What is happening here? It is none of your business, Sir Jorgensen. No, it, it is, uh, yeah. That's kind of like something out of a horror movie, man. In you know, a clunk, 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 clunk. 